Now, though, to continue our inspirational story series, we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by the inspiring Louise Naylor, who has been donating to St John's since she was six years old, and Territory Manager Andy Everest. Tell us how that helps. Good morning to you both. It is lovely to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. So, Louise, let me get this straight. You're 10 years old. Um, so what year are you and what school are you from? Um, yes, I am 10 years old. Um, I'm currently in year five and I go to Terry Moana Primary School. Wow, so what made you uh, want to donate to St John? Um, so one night me and my mum and dad were watching TV and then um, we saw, it was break time and then we saw this advertisement um, with this man from St John asking for donations and then my mum asked me if I would like to um, donate some money to them. Um, I had a little think about it and I decided that I would donate money to them. That's really, really a, a big thing for a 10 year old to do because most 10 year olds are only thinking about donating money to themselves, <laughs> to be honest. How much money, oh, well, you were six when you did it too, weren't you? How much money have you actually donated? Um, t over 2200 Wow, over $2,000. And how did you raise that money? Um, so in the first two years, I, um, so, Instead of asking for birthday presents for my birthday parties, I asked for donations. And then after the two years, um, me and my mum decided to go to some flea markets to just sell some like cakes and stuff for some donations. And that's how you've been raising the money? Yeah. That's extraordinary. Uh, and to offer to get donations instead of presents for your birthday, that's incredibly generous of you. Who do you help, hope, hope this helps? Um, I hope this helps people um, when they, um, people that have like, um, like they like have special needs or people that um, get really hurt and people that are really sick. You've had St John at your school as well, what have they taught you? Um, they've taught us about the doctors ABC, um, how to help an unconscious person and how to help um, a bleeding person. Okay, all things that you are very sound and good to know. Now, Andy, uh, welcome back. Um, Andy's been on our show before, Louise. Uh, how, I mean, how incredible is it to have someone like Louise donating to St John? Oh, it's just incredible. I mean, St John's a charity and we rely heavily on the public uh, for donations to do what we do, which is get out there and save lives. And to have someone so young that's taken an active involvement in that is just, yeah, it's mind blowing. What are the donations used for? Uh, it's used from everything from personnel costs to equipment to, to ambulances out on the road. Yeah, so, so it's actually going on to hands on things that we can all use. Absolutely. How does it make you feel and your fellow workmates feel when you've got someone like Louise, someone who's interested in the future donating? Oh, it's just outstanding. I mean, it, it took me a little while to believe it when I first heard about it. And, um, and I've known Louise for a couple of years now and yeah, it's just every year she comes back with, with more money and a big smile on her face and her mum makes tremendous cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you buy those cupcakes because that's for a good, a good cause. Yes, yes, yeah, and she gives us some as well. So, How long have you been with St John's now? Uh, coming up 15 years. Yeah, and do you see many young people like Louise taking no, part? No, she's a first. Yeah, mm. it's extraordinary, Louise. It's, it's such a pleasure to have someone so young who is so generous and so giving. Uh, my last question is for you, Louise. What would you like to do in the future? Um, I would like to be someone that can make everyone um, in the world realise that we need to care for our environment and um, let everyone know how important it's the planet is to us. It really is. You know what? I think we're going to see you, Louise, as Prime Minister someday. It would not surprise me at all. Good luck with all of your wonderful um, fundraising. Thank and you. it's so nice to have you back in here again, Andy. Thanks for having me. So how can kids help, actually? Just one final question. How can kids help in school holidays? So there's lots of things we can do. You can do this St John Youth, uh, where we get young kids involved with St John um, and they can do first aid training and things like that right from an early age. And we have the ASB St John in Schools, uh, which we're taking bookings now for, for Term 4, and also that runs right throughout the year for kindies and preschools. Oh, awesome. That sounds great. And that'll keep the kids occupied and learning some really decent skills over Absolutely. school holidays. Louise, thank you so much. Thank you too. It's nice thank to you. have you back again. And if you are inspired to find out more, you can head to the St John website.